Anya. Okay. Hello, everybody. We are on Facebook. Okay, you tell them about the hot tub thing while we're getting everybody on here. So, today, in the hot tub, we found... Oops, it's okay. Just do these ones. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, we found, I got 11, but I gave Dave one, so I have 10. But we found, like, little toy car tires inside of, just floating around inside the hot tub. <laughs> it was kind of crazy. They just kept popping up and popping up, didn't they? Yeah, inside the hot tub. They were all crazy, huh? You yeah. went swimming at the rec center, and that's where you found them? Yep. Glad you found them, sir. Oh, your brother says hello, sister. Hello. Hi, Tanya, Joanne, Cherry, Susan, Trina, David. Can you, can you talk my husband off the ledge, please, David? We lost a part for the show. So if you guys can't hear us very well, we don't have a microphone today. So we're using a microphone that's not our normal one. <laughs> so, so can anybody hear us? I can hear. It's... Do we sound like we're in a tin can? Look at all the likes and loves. They must all be for right. you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so from the comments I get on YouTube. <laughs> um, if this is your first time with us, we have Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4.30 Mountain live sh cooking shows. And then after we're done cooking, we chat with everyone. So we do all our cooking at first. And then we chit chat with everybody. So if you want to see the recipe, don't yell at me that the video is too long. Just watch the first 10, 15 minutes, because that's usually the amount of time it takes for my recipes to do, because I'm just that good. What? No comments? Oh, um, just mostly hello. Lots of hello. Hi, I just said because you. I'm just that good. Everyone here says it's fine. And you're fine. supposed to say, oh, yes, you are, dear. Oh, sorry, I missed that part. I apologize. Let's try that again. Usually I do my recipes in about 10 to 15 minutes because I'm just that good. Yes, you are, dear. Thank you. <laughs> See, I was listening to you delayed. So if I just suddenly go, <laughs> I do notes because you said something funny and it was delayed. Dining on a Dime Cookbook, page 129 today. We are making onion rings. Now, <clears throat> the recipe on the website that Mike is going to share is for fried zucchini, squash, onion rings, and mushrooms. This can be done with all of those. Oops. Sorry. Here, anybody need a little snow inspiration? I do. It got hot today in Colorado, and I am not a happy camper. Okay, so now... Sorry, to... uh, the recipe. I'm sharing the recipe. I was dealing with fires. Okay, go ahead. So I am making these gluten-free, so I am using gluten-free flour, and I am not using cracker crumbs. But if you want to make them not gluten-free, use the cracker crumbs, and they do make them a little bit crunchier. Yeah, you can go ahead. So in bowl number one, you want to put your egg. Patricia's asking about BJ and Scott. That we'll talk about that after this. Yeah, we'll tell you guys about the contacts afterwards. And beat up your egg. And then add your milk. Guys, this isn't an exact recipe. I mean. Well, it can be, but I just pour it in, so I don't get all upset about it. And then put your flour in your bowl. And like I said, this is gluten-free because I have to be gluten-free. Whoa, look now, at all those thumbs up. the recipe doesn't call for this, but I add seasoned salt to mine. That's my homemade that I use all the time. Go to our website, 10 Homemade Seasonings, if you do a search at the top right. It's on there. My favorite recipe. I probably use that recipe every single day. Yeah, I think some water got in my oil. 
Sounds like Again. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> Please, hold up. Please. <laughs> this could be a very interesting show today. Wait, wait, wait. I want to be careful. Don't get your face over it. Wow, that was very interesting. Can you learn from it? Well, I need it to heat up. <laughs> Whoa, everybody's saying there are like over a hundred or... Here was a hundred. Oh, wait a second. Them. I see where this is all coming from. Where? <laughs> There's a Superman logo there. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, guys. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Um... Give me thumbs ups and likes, guys, please. If you do thumbs up, it shows YouTube more people, and then it inspires us to keep going. Facebook, the same thing. The more likes and shares you guys give. I would like to challenge everyone to share this video on your Facebook page today. That's my challenge. Okay, Everybody whatever. likes a good challenge, right? Get 200 yeah. cheers and we'll pick a random comment to do that topic on the next hey, live Hey, should. <laughs> at, at least 2,000 shares and then we'll make a special live show. You How think so, that? huh? Okay, so then you're going to slice your onions. And make sure you get the biggest onions you can. I had to have Mike stop at the grocery store because, oh dear, this one got split when I cut it. Come on. Um, I had to have Mike stop at the grocery store because I had onions, but they weren't super big ones. Yes, Dave? But Tara, how do you keep yourself from crying when you're cutting onions? I put my onions in the refrigerator before I cut them, and then I don't cry. Tara's little tight one tip of the day. Lots of people saying they're sharing. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Oh, pooey, Tara. I can't believe I did this. Okay. Uh, well, normally you shouldn't cut through the onion. And, oh, boy. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting start of the day. Do you want me to cut it? Okay. No, it's all right. Um, now, I was afraid I'd lop off my finger if I did. Okay. Oh, good. That's good enough. All right. Now, you got all your little onion slices here. So then just take and push them apart like that. And you make your rings. So you've gone from slices to rings. Okay. Why do onions make you cry? Oh, they have a smell that's in them. A uh, gas that's in them that makes it smell and cry. And I may start crying because these were not in the refrigerator before I used them because... I'm already starting to. Well, right yeah, before just... the show, Mike just brought them in. Well, I'm crying over here. Oh! <laughs> Everyone want to have a good cry with us? Please? Stop! <laughs> okay. Whoa, those are potent. And these are the white onions. The yellow ones are wow. more potent, aren't they? They look pretty strong. Okay, Dave, we're coming back here. Okay, if I can even... I don't know if that looks good or not. Hopefully it does. Okay, so can you guys see what I'm doing back here? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, I'm well, waiting for an answer. It's kind of cut off in your head. But can you see in this direction? Yes, yeah. sir. What are you doing down there? Pop up and say hi to your nanny on Uncle Dave. <laughs> you okay, stand back while I'll put those in. Yep, stand back. This is really hot. So, stand what you really do fun. is you take your onion ring and you dip it in your milk and egg mixture. And then you put it in your flour mixture. And then if you're using crackers, you put it in your cracker mixture. So let's say I'm I'm not gluten free. My next bowl would be crackers, and I dip it in, and then drop it in your oil. Now I don't have a very big pan here, so this is going to take me forever to do. But I'll just throw in as many as I can. 
Oh. <laughs> wow, everyone's saying it was 120 to 122 in Phoenix today. Oh, man, and that is why I don't live in Phoenix. Our friends, the Economides over at Money Smart Family live there. I will be sure not to visit them in the summer. Yeah, Jamie was saying it's almost 100 here in Colorado, and we are doing it inside of our kitchen studio. Actually, I spent a whole summer in Arizona when I was 14. I did, babysitting. Okay. All summer, June, July, and August. So maybe I have an extreme close-up on Tara. Okay, and then you're just going to let these fry. <laughs> Ludmilla asks, is there a healthy version of this? Just curious. <laughs> I don't believe in healthy food anymore. <laughs> so I ground up all the vegetables I was supposed to eat for the day, and I put them in here. I thought maybe if I could drink them, I would get them down better. Hmm. It's not working very well. I think vegetables are way overrated. I'm thinking that's my new theory. My new theory on healthy eating. Vegetables are overrated. I think eat French really overrated. Toast, just eat, eat French toast all day and then you'll be good. Dave <laughs> thinks I should eat French toast all day and then I'll be good? That's what we did. We survived for a whole week. You survived a whole week with Nan? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, Ludmilla says, thinking about changing my hot coffee to iced coffee. <laughs> There oh, you go. Donna said she got chicken at King Supers for 77 cents. For that whole thighs and jumpsuits. What? Sticks. Whoa. Which King Supers was that? Man, well, I'll have to go check that right? out. That's not the same Donna, is it? Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah, that Donna. Oh, wow. I don't know. Donna, we'll have to check it. Maybe it'd be worth a trip to Wyoming for that. Yeah. Um, um, I kind of forgot what our point was. You were going to say you need a kiss from mom? Oh. Okay, so we're just frying and frying and frying. You just let them fry, guys. Are we just making the rings today? Yeah. Oh, because I put everything that was on that thing. Well, I know, so everybody can know that we can. You so, can do this with squash or zucchini. Mushrooms. Or mushrooms. Oh. I don't know. Do we have any mushrooms in there still? I don't think we do. We had some mushrooms. Dave, can you look? Yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't think we do, but Dave's going to check it out for us. Yeah, so Karen said, I must say mushrooms are not a favorite of mine. Well, it's your lucky day, Karen. It's just rings today. Could you do it with bacon? Uh, no, you can't do it with bacon. You do like bacon, bacon, bacon bits and then dip it in the bacon mixture and then be like, yummy. Oh, no, we're not deep frying bacon, Dave. <laughs> Dave is sad. Oh, that's, it's funny because when we weren't married yet, when I got that job at Cowfolk, where we there's a restaurant yeah. where I had gotten a job in us to spark years and years ago, and huh. before the owners had it that hired me, some other owners had it, and they had a, how much was it, a pound of bacon? Yeah. Deep fried into a sandwich. <laughs> I can only imagine. They, they advertised it because each BLT sandwich had a pound of bacon on it. It was crazy. Of course, that place went out of business, and now we know why. But hey, hey bacon is went out of business like 10 minutes later, and then somebody mm -hmm. else bought it who hired me. Yeah. Uh, Freddie says it's the sulfur in the onions that make you cry. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, Money Smart so Family's funny. on. So I can't yes. wait to see this turn, Mike. Right? Okay, guys, so we'll do a shout out real quick. So if you have a YouTube channel on here, go ahead and put your channel name, or if you have a favorite one, I've been watching Bandana Grandma. Bandana Grandma's on. Faith story today. Bumpstead Cat Tessie lovers on, on here. Bumblebee's on here. Homestead Tessie. Did you Homestead mention... Tessie's on here. Sorry, Mister. Did. did you say this was the Homestead Network show? Oh yeah, this is the Homestead Network night. So go to thehomesteadnetwork.com because we have a whole bunch of cool people on there. Sharing your link now. And we really need to go and check out who's after us, or if anybody's after us, because I can't remember. We used they to know, but it. they changed the schedule. Okay, these don't look quite as yummy as gluten free. Hmm. <laughs> I will admit this is the first time I've done gluten free. I don't know. It's, I'm underwhelmed with being impressed with it. Sue's on. Hi, Sue. Wow, Sue's up in the middle of the night. So are you coming soon? I Tara said something about you coming. 
She said she was coming for the 4th of July. You better bring me some Cadbury chocolate. Yay. Sorry, Yay. Dolphin, when you said 151, I thought you meant the temperature. <laughs> well, that's cool. Very cool. <laughs> Yay. Well, it was probably around that area. <laughs> it was like 38 today, degrees Celsius. Okay, let's try a gluten-free onion ring. What do we think? I don't know. Um, ow! That's hot. Maybe we cool should wait. Minute. Hold on. Ooh. So then I just put them on paper plates to let them drain. These don't so look as nice. Cause Anna says, hi guys, Sweden is online. <laughs> Ooh, hello Sweden. I was, on this day, in 1990, I was in Finland. Uh, Bumblebee oh. was on. Jamie, don't forget Jamie, love you more soap. Jamie, oh, man, love you really more yummy. soap is on here too. That's super yummy. So here's my question. There's no calories in these, right? Why have they changed the summer solstice from the 21st to the 20th? It used to be the 21st. Well, the summer solstice is not something people can change. I know. It's just a... But the date changed. It used to be the 20th. But it used to be... Or 21st. It used to be today? It used to be the 21st. Of June? I was about to quote another movie. Go look it up. Why has it changed? That's what I want to know. Imagination well, Travels asks, do you ever mix in cornmeal with your flour? No, but I could. And actually, that would be a really good idea for gluten-free people to dip it into cornmeal or add cornmeal to your flour. That would make it a little crispier, too. Actually, these aren't turning out too bad. Jamie wants to know oh, how they're delicious. Taste. Money Smart Family is asking, did you already say what kind of oil you're using? I just have whatever oil I have on hand, like canola oil or soybean oil. <gasps> you sometimes uh, use yeah. whatever oil. <laughs> I've used shortening when I don't have oil and we really want to make something like this. Yes. Uh oh, what's your idea to do with the tires? There's only one thing <laughs> that I really came up with. What? Turn the trucks. Put wheels on the salt shaker. Wheels on the salt shaker? Then we could just roll it around the table at dinner? No, oh. it wouldn't go. That wouldn't work. Kathy says here in Pennsylvania, Dutch country, we fly flour with zucchini in a frying pan. I think she's saying with Crisco. Yeah, and oh, we, like we fry it with. Just butter. We just slice zucchini and squash with and fry it in butter. Hey mom. Yeah? Like Tell man not to uh, ask about BJ. So about how he is. BJ, how are you? Not great. He's not great according to him standing ten feet away. Although he looks much more energetic lately. Except when dad's flipping out. <laughs> He has not slept for four or five days now, except for about three hours a night, he said. So, so far, their little method of staying awake and all that isn't really doing much, but we will see. So Jamie's asking, how do they taste gluten-free? You know, they don't look as fancy as the non-gluten-free, but they taste really good. Yum. Okay, and then when your hands get this floury, just wash them off and move on. Um, oh, let's see. Money Smart Family is asking if we can repeat the mixture. I'm about to share the link to the recipe again. Oh, so the Money Smart Family. So that's who we were just talking about you guys. Were you on here and I was talking you about you? just got it. <laughs> you oh, didn't realize man. I was talking about them, did you? No, I didn't know they were on there. <laughs> here I was just saying about visiting you guys in Arizona. Okay, so how do they taste gluten-free? Let me find a, uh, one that's not... Oh, yeah. They taste the same. They just don't look quite as fancy. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Jamie says, depending on the shift of the calendar, uh, summer solstice occurs between the 20th and 22nd, varying with leap years and other stuff. Okay. Oh! Well, I was wondering about that. Freddie says the 21st, 22nd, or 23rd, so I didn't know that. I thought it was always on the 21st. I, it was always on the 21st, and then they changed it. I'm like, why are we changing it? Oh, hi, everyone. I, I've been on YouTube for a while, and I'm looking at Facebook a little more. Oh, Gail says hi from East Wenatchee, Washington. 
It's another oh, Wednesday off. We're watching live. We love Wenatchee. Uh, we oh. know where that is. So Laurel says, just doing what were you cooking? Actually, Tara's still cooking it. She's making onion rings, and normally we make these, well, the recipe is just regular stuff, but we're making them actually gluten-free today so Tara can eat them. It looks so I more have these cute. huge old honking pieces of onion. I'm just going to break them up and just use those. Why not? Make it easy on yourself. Don't. Oh, we never did answer the questions about BJ and his contacts. Where is he? <laughs> um, so BJ and his contacts. So Where we, we did get him out that night, and that was one of our highest rated shows ever. Maybe we need to get people freaking out about contacts more. <laughs> I can't believe it. Here, one of our highest shows ever, watched shows ever, and it was about BJ taking out his contacts. Oops, I didn't mean to do that much. Oh, uh... And he got him out, but then Ellie couldn't get hers in for two days. <laughs> so Ellie spent all day Monday, yesterday, and today finally at one o'clock she got them in. She was so happy. The world looks totally different for her now. So Carol says at 7.30 going baddies after you. At 7.30 going baddies on after us. Okay, thank you very much. I apologize. I'm not up with it. Wait, guys. is that 7.30 Eastern? Probably 7.30 Eastern. Let me check. When do we end? <gasps> we end at 6.30 Eastern. Oh, okay. Huh, sure enough. It says new time. Okay, sorry know. about that, guys. I just say I don't know who going batty is. Are they, are they really going batty? <laughs> they live over by Brad and Chris, though. Oh, cool. I heard today that there's going to be a uh, solar eclipse in August day. The whole continental United States will be dark. Wait, seriously? Yeah. I want to see it. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, Jen said, asked, did you say how long to fry? Did I miss that? You just fry them until they turn golden. See how golden and luscious that looks? And that yeah. does depend on how hot your oil is at that moment. Yeah. You want your oil about 350 degrees. Then you can dip them in ranch if you want. I don't know. What about mayonnaise? Wow. Why <laughs> these would be ranch. Wait, aren't those like fries? Mm-hmm. Mm. I thought fries were really delicious with mayonnaise. Uh, Laurel says it's a cool forty eight in northern British Columbia, Canada. She must be you must be talking about Fahrenheit then. Wow. I like DC. So since our whole moving discussion on Wednesday, or no, what I mean, wait a minute, when day was that? Monday? I had Someone tell me we should move to Canada, which actually I wouldn't mind doing. I, we had actually looked at moving to Canada. We were watching Wind Calls the Heart, and we were like, well, man, that's pretty. Let's move there. And then and someone told me we should move to Iowa. Sorry, heat and humidity is too hot for me in Iowa. There's no way I'm going to be able to move to Iowa. It's pretty, but just too hot and humid. Then we had another family we know suggested Wisconsin so I was looking there but the taxes are ridiculously high and then I got another email today for Wisconsin so I thought okay well maybe I'll look again have mercy I don't know what it is in Wisconsin what you people are paying for but you're paying for a lot of taxes for the same house here the taxes are doubled well in ours the taxes are doubled than other houses here so so our taxes are $3,500 here. Most people's taxes here for the same house are $1,700. And Wisconsin for the same house was $6,000. Like, there's no way. That's crazy. So, I don't know, probably not Wisconsin just because their taxes are so high. Hmm, Tracy says, hey, from Nebraska. Oh, Jan says they look awesome. Uh, also, looking pretty luscious if I do say so myself. Ooh, yum. Uh, Pamela says totally off subject, but what's the best cooking for fried green tomatoes? Would this work? Same thing. This is the same recipe. And here, look in the index and see what page fried green tomatoes are. So we have fried green tomatoes, and I was thinking about doing those in July. Fried green tomatoes, 138. 
So on page 138 is my fried green tomato recipe, and this is actually out. Probably, it's basically the same recipe. Isn't this how you do it? You say, on page 138, right there. There you go. So you got it. Trying to learn to stand in when Charles gone. <laughs> Am I leaving? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I'm learning how to. <laughs> you mean? Yes. I am too good at a job. Uh, Mary asked any dipping sauce other than ranch. You can put it pretty much in anything. Whatever you want. Um, you could make sour cream with hot sauce. You could do whatever you want. Honey mustard. Uh, Angela wants to know if we tried frying pickles. No. We didn't. We've had them before and they're really good. So I think it's just, Ellie, do you eat onion rings? Oh, where'd she go? I think okay. it's just you and me, so I guess I'll just do this amount. Joanne says you could make some yummy fried dough in that oil. Yes. They are really delicious, everyone who's noticing that. Hey, Jack. Mm -hmm. Can you come here for a second? Why? I, you, there's just somebody that would like you to say hi. Can you say hi to Eva? Hi, Eva. Look at the camera. Hi. <laughs> um, I didn't see Nan is... Uh, oh, she's a lovely little redhead with the cutest freckles across her nose. Uh-oh. Aw, how sweet. How old is she, uh, Jeanette? Jack's got his first groupie. <laughs> what are you talking about? Vicky says Minnesota in all caps again. Well, now Minnesota oh. wouldn't be too bad, but... Ramona said my taxes here in Oklahoma are about $350. I know! Actually, one thing we were surprised, Colorado is a lot more expensive tax-wise, but... Insurance. Her insurance in Kansas was three thousand dollars a year. <laughs> Colorado was three hundred dollars. But our car insurance is double what it was in Kansas. Yeah, our, I meant our house insurance when I said that, but that's so, because uh, you know there are fewer biblical plagues here in Colorado than in Kansas. Going body is on right after us. Not any. There's not any space before. Well, they're supposed to be on right after us. So go check them out once we're done. So Louise is asking, will the kids eat the onion rings? No. Dave, what, weren't you eating some, Dave? No. Oh, I thought you were. Okay, well. Okay, now the only thing about frying these in gluten-free well, not usually. is, okay, forget it. My word. Is look at this. It kind of, so see that nasty brown stuff on that one? It kind of turns brown, so you may only be able to do a few I don't know that's the only problem with the gluten-free flour is it kind of mucks up sort of I don't know oh thank you how to describe it but thank you Sandy Sandy's asking it says everyone let's get our living on a dying family to 50,000 subscribers on YouTube yeah we're really yeah. close right now I didn't see and when we get to 50,000 subscribers we're doing a giveaway of mom's apron that she made and it is pretty. So Jack, Eva six. That's oh. why she was asking you to. They were yes. asking you to say hi to her. <laughs> so the apron mom made for our fifty. Dave, can you go grab it? Hang it on my hall tree, please. Mm -hmm. The apron. So Mary Ann said for fried pickles, you need to pat them dry before dipping them in the flour. Mm -hmm. uh, um, there were some other. There were a couple of other small mm -hmm. questions. So for the rest of the show, we'll just have them watch our dinner. Cassie says use cornmeal and parmesan for fried green tomatoes. Oh, yeah, that would be really good. Oh, yeah. No, that would be good. Um, Who loved fried green tomato show? My favorite show ever. Well, no, green card was my favorite show ever. Fried green tomatoes. So here's the apron wait, mom made. More than the Princess Bride? Well, and the Princess Bride. Those are my three top. This is the one mom made. She even... Wrote on there, seasoned with love. And she made all these cute little, see the ribbons and the cute little, I don't know, what do you call those, yo-yos or something. 50,000 subscribers. Someone's, one of our subscribers is going to win this apron. Here, Ellie, can you take this? Once we get to 50. Made by mom. Ellie, bring them what you found, what you ordered today and came. So on the contacts, Ellie finally got them in today, and she wore them for about an hour. 
BJ's up to about three or four hours. Perfect. And so he, so look what Ellie finally found. I'll be quiet and eat while she's. Oh, wait, wait. You need some dramatic music in here. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, it's like a smaller version of the other one. This is my new backpack. That looks Curse. more adventurous. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. Doesn't Thank have... you for everyone sending us the links. We got tons of links, didn't yeah. we? <laughs> Thank you. It was very helpful. But, uh, yeah, yeah, doesn't have the wallet on the back, which I wanted, but it's uh, very nice. So. And it has, like, a little adjusty thing on the back. So, how about, how, how about, how about glue a wallet that, that matches it to the back? Probably do that. We could use liquid nails, I'm sure. But yes. <laughs> so, so we found Ellie's backpack finally. Oh, so sorry. Tanya says, I love green card. Green card. Marianne says, that was my favorite movie too. And Denise says, me. I'm thinking she's agreeing. And Andrea said, Andrea was asking how everything turned out for the BJ with the contact and says, Tara, I love all three of those movies. Uncle Dave wants to know if your bag comes in Superman colors, Ellie. <laughs> how are you getting settled in, Andrea? It must be really hot down there today. Uh, in South mm. Texas. Mm. That's a shock to the system. <laughs> she was in England. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> and Jeanette, we're really glad that Jack could say something to Eva. <laughs> she sounds really cute. <laughs> I forgot. I guess I was hungry. Um, all right. So we had some other things. Let me go back to those. Mm. Um, I would probably add cornmeal to this. I might do it again next time and add cornmeal. So Patricia says fried Oreos. Never thought about Gross. fried Oreos. We've had fried ice cream, but we've never made it. I wish we could, but... Why would you do that to an Oreo? What? I don't know. She's got four exclamation points after it, so that probably means they're really good. <laughs> that just seems weird. Doesn't um, the inside melt all over? I don't know. Um, I used book lover. So did Jack ask why the why the onions burn your eyes? Yeah. Because I as a book lover says, because Jack, they're the bullies of the vegetable world. Why? And Mindy got a year's worth of contacts for $95, she said, after yeah. her insurance and rebate. BJ was looking online. He can order them online for $30 for six months. So that'll be good. So here's a dinner idea if you guys need to. Sloppy Joe's, French, French fries, sliced oranges, kiwi, or banana. Did Emily say where she found that backpack? Because Denise was asking. On Amazon. Oh, we should have had the link. Oh, and Kathy says, oh. I would love an apron made by Jill. Do you want to go look for that link? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. If you're watching this later, we'll put it in the description below. So Marianne's asking if David got contacts too. He did not. Yeah. I don't wear my glasses very much, though. So I don't like them. His vision isn't real bad, is it? Mm -mm. And he doesn't drive, so... <laughs> Uh, a lot of people talking about the aprons and how much they love them. Uh, what? Richard says try club soda in the flour mix. It will make it crispier for these. Yeah, but how would you do that? Oh, you mean make like a liquid, like a pancake batter type thing. Oh, David's saying, sister, did you tell him what we did? No! I had intended to get a picture. I'll have to bring that picture on Friday's. Wait, so. go to Facebook. Yeah, but. Let's go to my page. It? We'll just lift up our page. <laughs> so last night, no Tara. This. It was right up front. Wait, do David Cooper. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Oh, I'm sorry. We had Living on a Dime on there. Sorry. But do you want to show all that so, stuff? Right here. Um, Wait, show that. How did we not show everything else? Well, there's nothing to. There's nothing. So the friends and the photos and the links. Yeah, that's probably like... all right. That's all public. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about. It. Oh, okay. So just show them this. So last night, we, dun dun dun, gave my sister-in-law her magnets. Oh, she's so freaked out. She was crying. She was so happy. She cried like twice, and wow, that was the pre-show. Believe it or not, that was before she even knew what it was. <laughs> mm -hmm. But at first she wasn't, she just seemed like she wasn't sure what to think. And then about five minutes in, she suddenly got kind of overwhelmed. And then 
periodically out throughout the whole thing, she kept saying, oh, I just can't believe this. I just can't believe this. This is so great. So we recorded it, and we were going to try and get on last night, but it was an hour, an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike is editing it, and um, we're going to try and get on there this week for you guys. So thank you so much. She absolutely loved them all. Absolutely loved them all. Andrea says it's not. It's cool. Are, are you actually in the what? Houston area? Um, much cooler than we live in the UK. Sue commented on there. He, I heard they were having a heat wave, but what I saw made it sound like in the UK that it was in the 90s and that it almost never gets to that hot. But I was thinking in, in the Houston area, you usually can boil eggs on the top of your car. <laughs> or not boil them, uh, fry them. So I was surprised. I'm sorry, if you offered me $10 million, I would not <gasps> live in Houston. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, Andrea. She said, we did think about you when we drove past Tinnings. No. Louisiana on the way. Wow, you remembered. That's awesome. <laughs> That's where Mike's family's. Well, I'll have to try the club soda thing next time. Interesting. Ramona says Oreos need a batter. They need to be cold, just like fried candy bars. Oh, is that oh. be like fried ice cream too then? Okay, that makes sense. Because I'm like, how does the inside not just... So I wonder if you put them in, uh, if you have to use dry ice to make them that cold. I think I just ate this whole plate of fried onions. Yes, you did. And, I, and I'm like, give me one. Mm. Uh, T. Lynn says... Onion pancakes with raw onions on top and maple syrup? She says yum, but it's hard to imagine that. How oh, gross. <clears throat> uh, oh, and Jeanette said, you know, the big family homestead is selling their house with acreage in Ohio. Mm. She doesn't want to go to Ohio. No. <laughs> Cassie is asking, when are you going to make more soap? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever going to make more soap. No. I'll make more soap. I just, I'm taking a break right now. Oh, Janice asks, how did BJ get his contacts out? So what happened was, I went and, Dave, can you give me a little bit more? Um, I went and was trying to help him get them out. He thought I was scratching his eye. I wasn't, I had contacts for five years. I know how to take out contacts. He was just all jumpy and I think it was maybe I hit an eyelash, but I didn't scratch his eye. But anyway, um, Getting eyelashes so hurts. then he rubbed his eye because he thought I'd scratched it and he was able to move the contact off. It got off, got the first one off. Then he went into the bathroom to use the facilities. And in the middle of that, he sneezed <laughs> <laughs> and the other one blew out. So somehow. Um, and your mom said yes, and he loves them now. He he loves them. He was commenting on how everything looks brighter, and mm -hmm. he said he really likes having them. Uh, so now that they're working for him, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, Sandy says you could probably handle North Texas. The problem with North Texas is it's too much like Kansas. <laughs> no, sorry. I... Kansas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, and Texas and Missouri are all out. <laughs> Just what? too hot and humid. Missouri. No offense to any of those people who live there. You are wonderful people. You're very nice people. It's just too hot and humid. Well, for Tara, it is. For me. You know, mm -hmm. I would find it uncomfortable, but I could deal with it. But Tara would just die. <laughs> no. we, we actually lived in Texas for about six months early in our marriage, and she could not function at all the entire six months we were there. I was in bed the whole I time. I was terrified because I we'd only been married for a little while, and I thought, what's happening to her? <laughs> she's, she's on the couch the whole time. We've been married like nine months and moved to Texas, and I'm like, nope. Yeah. Uh, Jan said, went to the first farmer's market in summer today, had fresh asparagus for supper, which I would have oh, made yum. more. Yum. Um, Ooh, Amy Jan said, it's raining in Australia. It doesn't rain there much, does it? I don't think so. I forgot which side of Australia. Are you in the Melbourne side, oh. Amy? Um, Jan said, I oh, think it depends I'm on not. where you live in Wisconsin. Yeah, it's got another one where he's moved everything to. I can't see the comments. She said, townships where I live are cheaper than in town. I wonder how much cheaper. Yeah, but the taxes aren't. I looked. And there's this really cute is. town. And man, there was a house. I was like, I'm going out there tomorrow to look at it. It was a cute house. But then I looked at the taxes and it was like $6,000. So we would have to pay probably, what, eight by the time we pay insurance after we paid off our house that'd be like 750 dollars a month oh dave did you read that onion ring sauce from treasure time no 
Tammy at Treasure Time asks, do you have a recipe for onion ring sauce that you get with blue onion onions at the restaurant? Uh, no. I wonder if that's like the fry sauce. I know. <clears throat> hmm. We do have fry sauce on our website. Move to Sweden. <clears throat> you know, it didn't take that Sweden. much convincing for her, I think, on Sweden. Yeah, I really like Sweden. I visited during the summer in 1990, and we went to Finland. That's where I was on Finland on midsummer. But Sweden was great. I love Sweden. Ooh, yep. Cat I Lover love it. says ranch or honey mustard dressing. That honey mustard sounds like it would be really good. Yeah, that would be. Oh, oops. Now, the problem with gluten free flour is it sticks like glue. Hmm. Oh, Calover says, oh, it's Wednesday. Yes, going baddies on next. Love them. If you haven't been there yet, folks, check them out. So cool. Uh, I've seen them on on uh, Big Family. Oh, Joy says, hello from County Cork, Ireland. Weather is very hot and humid. Back to the rain tomorrow. And Tar, those look delicious. I love County Cork. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah. Are you in Cork or are you somewhere else in County Cork? Ellie and I were in Cork and Cork and Conseil uh, in April. Let's see. Sorry, I was behind on comments here. Uh, Andrea said I used, uh, she said, yes, try club soda. I used sparkling water in the UK and it made quite the difference. In mm. the so that's I'll cool. try that. Ramona said, I thought you were going to do the magnet show live. We were going to, but we, we had, ran into a massive amount of technical problems. We had major tech issues and we just could not get, I'm sorry, we were, but it just, we almost didn't get it recorded. It was that bad. We recorded it though, where we're, we're watching her and, and there's commentary, although yeah. it's not that much commentary. So. Uh, it wasn't too bad. I mean, no, you guys can meet bad. my brother and my sister-in-law. Yeah, I think you'll like it. And uh, I was desperately emailing Big Family trying to see if anybody could help us get Google Hangouts to work. What a pain in the rear. We, and we haven't been able to figure out how to do us interviewing somebody else. Uh, Tara said she maybe, did you do that live? Or on? I did. Yes. But, uh, but it's not working now. But we don't have anything that we can do to get Facebook and YouTube on that we are aware of. So, <clears throat> wow. Lexi says mine are 660 in Florida, Texas. Wow. Ruth says For the year? That's pretty good. Ruth says, Pens says Pennsylvania might have higher taxes too. Sin says New York has terribly high taxes. Yeah, I know yeah, New York Yeah, that's says. why we ain't going to New York. But Pennsylvania wasn't too bad. The houses I was looking at, it was about the same as what it would be here in Colorado. I don't know. We're not going anywhere at the moment. Although after I found out David's getting an iPad for high school. Woo! I'll pay for it. Don't worry. Mom is not a happy camper. Mom has hundreds of dollars in the basement for a reason. There is no reason they need to have an iPad. But, uh, just, just, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we didn't put him in that in the other school in the same district before for the same reason. Well, that was one of the reasons. That was one of the many reasons. Because here's the thing: you can so they force an iPad. Okay. Oh dear. Oh no. Wait before you say that. Randy says in Wisconsin that we are paying for the beautiful views and wonderful snow. <laughs> here's the thing. Don't slam the table because they'll sound really terrible. Don't slam the cup or you'll cut your hand. They, <laughs> they have to have an iPad is required for school now here. But you cannot opt out. And if you want to pay for the insurance, or and then if you want insurance, you have to pay for the insurance. So not only do they say you can't do your schoolwork without the iPad, if you break the iPad, you have to pay the three hundred dollar fifty dollars to replace well, it. If somebody else's routing kid breaks the iPad, you have to buy. You're it. still or, responsible for it. Or you can pay insurance on the iPad you didn't want. Well, and then <laughs> on the insurance, you ha you can you get optional insurance for thirty five dollars. And at the end of the school year, but, they take it back from you. But on the insurance, the it only covers one breakage. After that, you're not covered. Hmm. It is absolutely ridiculous. See, when I were, am so mad. When David was getting ready to go into the middle school where they did that, um, there were a lot of rowdy kids there. And I was thinking, well, what if somebody breaks it and it's not your kid? And I know. 
because the teachers didn't see a lot of crazy stuff that was happening in the hallways and stuff. And I was thinking. And they give these kids these things. There's no filters on them. <clears throat> they have the parents put the filters on them. That well, half these they're at McDonald's or somewhere. Half these parents don't even know how to use these things. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm not happy. So Ruth said, asked, did you like the Man in the Moon? The first movie I ever saw was Reese Witherspoon in when she was 13. I never saw it. I never saw it either. Uh-uh. Cat Lover says, the more I watch her frying, the more I need to fry those cheese curds. You're going to have to make me more after the show because you ate them all. <laughs> I was hungry. I guess. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm too tired. Bonnie Boo says, I went with a jerk of a guy on a date to see fried green tomatoes when it came out, and he was trying to humiliate me for crying because he didn't understand. I hope you dumped him. <laughs> so. Where are you going? Oh, parkour? Yeah. Joanne says, I'm on my iPad now, lol. Actually, we're not against iPads, just... Um, yes, I am, for school. Well, with school, I was one of the kids who stayed after school to learn how to use the one computer the school had, but I ended up being very advanced on computer stuff all my life, and so I don't think you need to have that exposure to make it easier, but it seems to me that in Why the school... Why don't they just give you books? <clears throat> it seems to me that with our kids in the school that and seeing other kids... When they have a lot of computer access, it seems like it distracts from them actually learning. <laughs> as like much. they don't even have filters, so then the kids don't play games in class. Yeah, the kids they, can just sit on their iPads playing Clash Royale. They can Facebook Whoa. each other in the middle of class. They can play games in the middle of class, and there's nothing to stop them. They could Skype people for all the teachers care, as long as it's muted and it doesn't distract everyone else. Oh, so Pam was asking when people are talking about club soda and stuff, what they mean instead of milk? I think what they're meaning is put the club soda, yeah, basically. Put the club soda in the flour, I think, instead of milk and egg. Or maybe dip it in the egg and then dip it in the club soda and flour. And Jeanette says, I'm going to be in a food couple with all this deliciousness discussion of fried foods. Yeah, you better <laughs> believe it, brother. I'm about ready to... Blow my cork. <laughs> uh, oh, Teresa says, grew up with the garden stuff. Indiana Farmer's Daughter, watch all the time on smart TV, so it's the first time I'm saying hi. Hello. Yay. Thanks, Teresa. I'm glad you're able to say hi now. Uh, T. Lynn says, I use applesauce as a dressing and dip for a lot of stuff, but I add herbs and spices mm. cooking it together sometimes. Mm. It's lower fat. She says, your shows always make me hungry. When uh, our high school gets what? Got loads, it took a while to get all the bugs worked out. And we had to have the web and the store to table because my nephew was doing, shall we say, inappropriate things with the access. Yeah, well, I, I would think there'd be a lot of that because the school says it's the parents' responsibility to do that. It's like, it's the school like that. And not to mention, these kids can hack into this no matter, you know. They can jailbreak it. And then I'm sure get... David and Jack, BJ would be able to hack into this. Yeah, the, but... the school. When the school does a lot of things, the kids hack it pretty fast. It's really easily hackable. Like, a two-year-old could do it. <laughs> Your brother, David, says, use a pillow as a cover for the iPad. should keep it from breaking. Yeah, we'll have to carry a pillow to school with his iPad. <laughs> that would be a great video, wouldn't it? Yep. Kathy says, now Mike will starve. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm cutting back anyway, so I guess. Um... Yeah, Jeannie says, Dave is really good at it and respects technology. He'll take good care of his iPad. Yeah, it's not him I'm really concerned about. It's uh, I want my own kids. iPad, too. Although it but, is high school, so you would expect him to be a little more yeah, but focused. Still, but not all the kids are. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, like, no kids are focused. I was going to say. Yeah, Denise says, kids are going to forget penmanship with everything on an iPad. I think David and Jack cannot read cursive. Well, none of the kids can read cursive. I can read no, cursive. I can. You can? You two can, but BJ and Ellie only can. Oh, right? and, oh, David and Jack can. Oh, well, that's because their school has a yeah. Our school has a mandatory thing where the, you have to fill cursive. What do you call it? The the core curriculum. The curriculum um, is very advanced, and it requires a lot of them. The other day we were reading a book. Did I tell anybody that story? We were reading a book, and in the book it was a kids' book, and um, it was a chapter book, and they said something about Charlotte's. Web and it was referring to Charlotte's Web, and they said something about Charlotte's magnum opus. And I said, Yeah, Jack, do you know what magnum opus is? 
And we would just it say, means great work. He said, it's a great work. And I thought, what? How did you know that? And he said, how did you know that? Well, well, most of the Latin that I know was from my Latin teacher. But um, in class, we um, in class, we um, read Charlotte's Web and it said that magma sulfate Oh, magnum opus meant great work. So, yeah. So, yeah, he's fun. been having Latin since kindergarten. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this... okay, show, show him your picture real quick. This is what I drew. That's pretty good. He got a new scratch sketch peg today. Sketch, sketchbook. Um, Des, this recipe is on page. Uh, I lost it. I'm sharing the link to it, but Tara's going to tell you the page two. Page 129 or 137. It's the same recipe, actually, but on 137, it's squash, cucumber, and mushrooms. All right. People keep on. <gasps> Cat lovers, have you made fried ice cream? I would love to do that. I would love to, to do that, no, but I haven't. it's I hard to imagine to. how it would work. Yeah. Always wanted to try, but I never did. We saved that for the Renaissance Festival, which is going on right now here in Colorado. So, oops. Uh, sorry, I'm looking for more things. So while Mike's looking, don't forget our How to Save on Groceries e-course is on sale for 40% off until July 3rd. It used to be um, groceries on a dime, but we're changing it up and we added 10 videos, which Mike got edited today. Woohoo! Well, will be done on time. <laughs> Oh, pre-edited, excuse me, pre-edited today. So we'll be done on time. Louise, that's what has cursed with me. It's this, the writing script that... What? Well, I think Louise isn't from... Oh. I think Louise is from somewhere else. I can't remember where. Oh, um, okay. It's, a, it's the, write, the script writing that's kind of curly and all continues together. They like each word is one, is one line. Yeah, it's where like, you don't take your pen off the paper and you just write the whole word. Except for things script. like I and J, but that's only at the end of words. The only time you let up your pen is at the end of words. Teresa said school's no longer cook homemade when I was in school. Our lunches were loved by all. You would smell yeast cinnamon rolls rising. Wow. Have mercy. What kind of school did you I go to? Say, my school didn't do that, but that is awesome. I had these nasty pizzas that were... Oh, man. They... Did anybody else have the flat pizzas? I mean, I'm not kidding. They were like this flat, and they were in a in a in a rectangle. And it was always flat pizza with strawberries. The That's only thing I ate was the strawberries. Have. Yes. So this is cursive. Just Jack just did a cursive high. That says high. Yep. Very good. Hmm. Good Cat show. Cat says, J, I love it. You need to come out here to hang with us. You can go camping with me and the girls." Yeah, Jack wants tell her to that. go camping. Where is she? I'll have to make a, a note of this so I can share that with her. Where are you at, Cat Lover? I can't remember. Um, I can't remember either. Um, Jack wants to go camping this year. I don't know if we'll get it done. We don't have a... All we have is a tent. I'm not sure we're up to that. Ooh, we'll Brooke see. says when you fry them Oreos, get like cake in the middle. Yum. Hmm. Bandana, wants, Bandana Grandma wants to know, Tara, when are you coming out to visit Tessie and me? I know. You should go. I thought Ellie and I should make well, a road I'm pretty trip sure there. right down there would be hello instead of yeah. hi. You know what? I could man the fort here and mm -hmm. still do shows, and you could go out there and do shows with them at the same time. Yeah, I could do live with you Andy, on, Grandma, and Tessie. You do it on Tuesday and Thursday, and then oh. you do it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So on YouTube, Saved in Christ says fried green beans. Yum. That sounds good. Hmm. Are they? But, let's see. I guess not canned? I don't know. I guess they would be fresh, I suppose. Probably would, I assume. Uh, or you'd have um, to get the liquid out of them, we'll see if they were canned. I guess they'd have to be fresh. Since it's just wondering if I make toffee on page 268, can I leave the chocolate chips off of it? Yeah. You just have like a caramel candy. Really good. Yum. Mm -hmm. Super delicious. Um, Allie and Emily oh, money. say hi to Jack. Oh, Allie and Emily? I think I think that's how you say it. A-L-I. Yeah. It's Allie. Oh, Allie and Emily are on. Hello, Grandma. Wait, is that our Allie and Emily? Our, our, our Emily? Yeah. No, that's a, a different Allie and Emily. Are you oh, sure? Oh, oh, oh. Tammy's oh, Tammy's. Oh, Tally, it's Tammy's. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Linux Smart Family want to know if you're frying zucchini and the other squash today. No, I'm not. I just did the onions today. I don't have any zucchini or squash. I don't have anything in the garden and nothing's on sale at the grocery store yet. So Bumblebee wants to know if you eat fried oysters. No. <laughs> I have never had an oyster in my life. I don't think I'll ever put one in my mouth. They're just slimy and gross. <laughs> Sorry. I like seafood, but that's just a texture thing with me. Bandana Grandma said, that was a great idea for your sister-in-law, Tara. And Donna said, I'm so glad she enjoyed her surprise. And you guys made it all possible. Yes, thank you. sending all those awesome things. She loved them. So we're going to post the video this week, maybe, we hope. <laughs> My brother, oh, David sent you footage in Dropbox. Did you get it? Yeah, but it's 10 gigabytes, and I don't think I can download it without it crashing the whole thing. Oh. Um, I, I can try and check. But, oh, OK. Yeah. Well, hmm. Uh, Amy T says, I can still send her some more, even though you've already given the main gift, question mark. Yes, yeah, we would send it to her. Yeah, to mom, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, I think magnets to Shayla. Oh, yeah, you can, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can just send them to her. She would love that. Uh, yeah. Let's see. We can see what else we have. Or, Amy, you could you could just email me, and I could give you your address. Just send me an email. I'll just give you your address. Connie doesn't like oysters. Oysters, yuck. Oh, Bumblebee says, Mike, tell BJ to get another video out soon so we can be inspired. I don't know after what I told him before the show. <sighs> yeah. The kids, well, we don't know if the kids lost the part or if it got knocked off somewhere, but one of the main parts for our mic was missing, and we don't know if it was BJ or David that lost it or if it just got lost. It was not me. Dad was threatening them within an inch of their life that they're never touching the video and audio equipment again. It would be astronomically unlikely it could separate itself from the other cable by itself. <laughs> so but that was where I told them. Uh, they've been borrowing the equipment for the show, and I keep having to run all over the house to find it before the show. <laughs> but <laughs> it's totally lost now, so. Dad. Uh, did, oh, Dave, you're going to like this. Denise said, I can't stand fish at all except the Pepperidge Farm ones. <laughs> Like oh, your is that a goldfish? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dave appreciates that. Ooh, Andrea. Kind of a guy. Ooh, Andrea shared a recipe. She said, use your toffee to make toffee bits and try this. And she shared a cookie dough. Oh, dip. yeah, that looks good. Oh, mental note to self. Don't eat fried food without taking your enzymes. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Well, let's see. Fried oysters are yummo. And Jeanette says, total agreement with you, Tara. Phyllis, not a seafood eater, me either. Rainy says oysters equals snot. Okay, uh, that's so Call me silly, <laughs> but I was young and impressionable and about four years old the first time we went to a, a seafood place in southern Louisiana where all the food is looking at you. <laughs> in between the smell and all the food looking at you and people making jokes about it, as a four year old, I was kind of traumatized. <laughs> That's not the only reason. So if you guys would like to send donations for Mike's counseling for seafood. Please. <laughs> no, just kidding. All right, guys. Please go to check out Going Batty on YouTube after us with thehomesteadnetwork.com. You can check out when everybody is live or some of us just go live when we can't get our contacts out. <laughs> <laughs> Please buy our Dining on a Dime cookbook and our How to Save on Groceries e-course. You can go to livingonadime.com for all of that. And if you need to email me something, you can click the contact form and it comes straight to me. Unless you're chewing me out and then it hits the delete button. So if you want to send me something nice, you can send me something nice. Yeah, we do have a person who is an intermediate who is instructed yes. to. Yeah. I have a virtual assistant that if you send me a nasty email, I don't get it. Pretty nice, isn't it? Negative, Ooh. but respectful is okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> but, I don't know. Sometimes I'm thinking, what's this for? <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Have a good night. Go check out Bone Batty right now on YouTube, and we will see you guys on Friday. Yep. Thanks for joining us today. Have Not a good this, night. That's the show. <laughs> Bye. Dead on Facebook. Bye, YouTube. Bye,